Have you wondered what are they doing with all of the debris from the Francis Scott Key bridge collapse as they pull it up here at the Baltimore Harbor? So today we're going to show you a video that was provided to us by the Unified Command of exactly what they're doing with all of these bridge truss members and other debris that they pull up from the bottom of the river and where they're taking it to and how they're inspecting it and how they are processing it. So let's take a look at this. So when they remove the debris that they pull up out of the river, of the bridge and the trusses and everything, they bring it on these barges over here to Sparrows Point. That's about two miles away. You can see the dolly way in the background there on this part of the video. And you can see the remnants of the bridge still sticking out of the water too. Now here's a truss member that was put on one of the barges and brought over. And that's what they do. They bring them in sections. And once they get them here, they start slicing them up, cutting them up. Um, but take a look at these gusset plates, um, the bolts and the nuts and uh, the rivets on these gusset plates. As I pointed out on one of the earlier videos this week, they have all withstood pretty good, which shows how well built the bridge itself was. Now, of course, it wasn't protected at its most vulnerable point on those four pillars on either side of the bridge, but that's not necessarily part of the bridge design. But take a look at some of this. So here's what they do is they just cut them up into little manageable pieces of metal. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with them. They probably have to leave them here until the investigation is done in case they have to come back and check anything. And I would estimate that they've probably got it sectioned off depending on where it was on the bridge. For example, span 17, 18, or 19. And look at all of these cranes. And you're going to see those two large yellow cranes there that are part of the Sparrows Point. And check this out, man. So they've already started slicing and dicing up some of the, the larger sections of the truss. those girders and I-beams and then there's just their bone pile of all sorts of steel and sheet metal there and again I mean look all of the gusset plates were in really good shape these things held up really well so they're giving us a nice view here a nice close-up view of what all of this debris how it ended up Here's a nice good sized chunk here that really got torn apart. And so now when they have these larger pieces here, they have a grappling machine that I'll show you momentarily that will come in and it'll, it'll cut these things here. It's a metal cutting machine. So here's the welders. And what they're doing is that they have to come up on these long sections of metal and they just slice right all the way lengthwise down the middle to cut these things in half. And then they're going to section you know, right across the cross section of the pieces as well to cut these down into smaller pieces that can be easily handled. So look at these guys going. So all of you guys out there that know welding and all of you experts out there, let us know in the comments whether you think these guys are doing it correctly. Tell me what you think of their technique. I would not want to be standing anywhere near there without any glasses on, that's for sure. So here's that grappling uh, machine here. It's actually a, a metal cutting machine, but it can grapple too. So you'll see it reaches down and it picks up the metal pieces there. And it squeezes like the claw. So like the middle claw there will come in and it'll punch through the metal. Now it looks like it's sort of missing the mark on, on this piece. But it's supposed to punch all the way through and come out through that slot there. But look at the size of this thing. I have got to get me one of these. I don't know what I would do with it, but it sure looks like fun. So now we're going to see it come over here and try to attack one of the, the pieces here. So watch that claw in the middle. The middle part of it's gonna come down on it and it's gonna just push all the way through and try to punch through, see? Punches all the way through that metal there and then just sets it right back down. So that must be very slow, tedious work. I've sped it up here for you to just to kind of give you an idea how much 
time it takes to get very little done. And sometimes you don't always get it to cut through either. So look, he's going right here and he missed. So now he's just going to pick up the piece and move it. But so this is what they are doing now on this 10 acre site. Here's where the Francis Scott Key Bridge was right here. And according to the Unified Command, they said that they moved everything two miles over here to Sparrows Point. That's where this is. And so if I had to figure out where, I would say it was right in this area here. I know they said they found 10 acres that they've been dropping off all of the metal onto. So I believe it's somewhere in here. Because also some also showed these smaller little docks right around here and those are the only ones in that area that are that small so that's why i think that's where they brought it to now if you ever want to see what's going on live you can always tune into the stream time live baltimore that's a webcam they have set up that you can see everything that's going on all day long with the salvage operation so here's what it looks like live here and oftentimes when the crane is right in front of the dolly and they're pulling stuff out of this area, they'll zoom all the way in. It's got an incredible zoom in feature on this camera. And then there's a chat over on the right here. So I'll put a link to this down in the video description below for you. So you can go and monitor this anytime you want. This Streamtime Live camera feed here is normally up. 24 hours but well, just to remind you if you're new here and you haven't seen my other videos make sure you see this video here on the fiu bridge collapse that i just completed one of my best engineering analysis videos yet and then also last week check out this video here we had that scary and fatal crane collapse here in fort lauderdale my own stomping grounds so thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you on the next one